Two most knowledgeable people in Westeros are back. Yeah, blood and cheese, baby. House of the Dragon, episode four. John, how are you? I cannot wait to flex my knowledge. Don't come here if you don't want future spoilers yeah, of the show. Look because out now. we know our stuff. Mm. So much so that this House of the Dragon inspired Team Blackshirt is the biggest work in progress that Greg has ever had to do. First draft of it, I got the wrong shirt updated the draft to bring it to this one i did the text myself actually for the shirt i spelled renera wrong so <laughs> the proper renera is, is proper. collectors I, I got the letters reversed. the proper one is that's the one up on the site i <laughs> just am on a roll here but thanks to everyone who has purchased a shirt to support the Reject Nation. We also got one for Team Green as well. You sick, sick you weirdos, but we'll yeah, still you traitors we'll still to the crown. Capitalize off of your allegiance. What'd you think about this episode? Is it a good one? Leave your thoughts down below. And while you're leaving your thoughts down below, scroll up to hit that like button and subscribe and click that notification. I'll we'll get notified when our reaction for episode five is up here on the channel. Thanks to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. Thanks to all been joining our Patreon page, become super sexy rejects over there. You get the full length reaction watch alongs for you sync up with your own copy of House of the Dragon. We cover several things exclusively with highlights and watch-alongs included. Jonathan, are you ready? I'm so ready, G. Are That's you? That's what I, I love it. <laughs> is he still, is he in another, another nightmare? would love just one whole nightmare episode. Yeah, I could finally use Damon in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's gotta be another nightmare. Yeah. Everyone's sneaking into King's Landing. I can't understand. That's some damn good lucid dreaming. They are getting mileage out of her. Yeah, cool to see her back. Speak plainly. Speak audibly. Stop. You created me, Damon. Set on destroying. Uh oh. Jealous. Wow. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Treasonous thoughts. This is telling. This is your own subconscious right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what a shot, too. There's been a raven. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, nice. Huh. Interesting. As I said, there's been a raven. You can just barge in like that. Sad business with the usurper's son in their declarations. Sir Criston's army, now tripled in strength, might have Harren Hall as its destination. Showdown, let's go. Even if you can raise a host of rivermen, it will not be ready in time to face Whoa. him. That's eerie. Black Philip. Is a black goat like symbolic for something? something I don't know. Deep. There, something demonic, this is perhaps. Called a commentary. I mean, I'm used to seeing black rams be harbingers of Satan, but. This is Sir Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. Hmm? His Grace, the King, oh. hmm. Consort Damon Targaryen. It is an honor, Your Grace. Indeed. <laughs> so up close in person. <laughs> yeah. He's exerting his dominance. How fares your grandson? Sadly, he remains incapacitated. He lies in a kind of waking sleep, unable to do much more than take me a drink. He's catatonic. So he's alive? Yes. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. <laughs> My man. Lord Grover raised me in his stead. All very touching. Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverland? <laughs> While he still lives? <laughs> that is not our way. What are you no for, boy? To me. Get out of here, little boy. I can see why the Blackwoods and the Brackens did not fear to start a war beneath the nose of their liege lords. House Tully is a fish with no head. Remind me which of your uh, countrymen claimed to fight in the name of Egon. Was it, was it Bracken or Blackwood? <laughs> House Bracken that declared green, Your Grace. Lord Strong over here is doing okay. Milady. That's Mr. Milady to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm given to understand my Lord Husband owes you his life, but I was not told his saviour was so comely. Oh, get some. Your mother must have been very beautiful. Rhaenys. Whoa. That <laughs> took a turn. Yeah, right in front of him, too. Is your work finished? No, my lord. <laughs> Awkward. I just had a word with your captains. He was the sailor who plucked you from your watery grave. And 
Why do you seem agitated about this? Yes. You did not think to mention it. I did not think it relevant. I mean, this dude deserves commendation. I know who he is, Corliss. Who is he? Is he like a bastard son? Alan's past is no fault of his. Yeah. He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tides. Is this why you came? Is he a bastard child? Yeah. I came to tell you that Bela has called me to Dragonstone. Bela? That counselor's going to dine on her and Jace for supper. They grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Oh, boy. Where's that woman gone? I suspect to try and draw us all back from the abyss. <laughs> Super Team Renera. I love it. Love her so much. Oh, bad tidings. Is that symbolism? Could be symbolism. <sighs> That's reactor commentary. <laughs> <laughs> As requested. I brewed it myself. Thank you. Your ayahuasca journey awaits. I'll see it delivered discreetly. Do report if the recipient has need of any remedy. The tea is known to disagree with the gut. I shall observe the girl closely. It can be hard absor absorbing athletic greens in your first try. <laughs> that's true, that's true, but it's real good for you. 75 vitamins and minerals. You've ever been a practical man, an honorable servant to the crown. Is she pregnant with Kristen's kid? <laughs> she must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, no. Tea must be for her. Tell me, do you believe Viserys wanted Aegon to succeed him? Oh, what a question. Yeah! I could not know. His grace never raised the matter with me. Nor with anyone. I mean, you wanted to believe it. You wanted Aegon to be king for a long time. Yeah. She preggers are Kristen's kid, man. Kid already has an icky little haircut and everything. Yeah, his kid's already an annoying, sleazy asshole. Can't wait to drive that kid off social media. Kristen Cole's host has taken to exploiting the tree cover. He now only travels by night. And what is Cole's heading? There were signs of an army moving northwest. You should have burned them when you had Come the chance. On. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight them on your dragon. Oh! Yeah! An enemy host growing in constitution marches somewhere in the vastness of the crown land. The crown lands. If only we had a host of our own or someone here to lead us. Mind your tongue, Sir Alfred. What does it mean by host? Does it speak falsely, my prince? I guess he has somebody just to take up that role of central leadership. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, princess? The queen did not name you hand. That we need to raise alliances and command our vassals, but they are gone. What has come of this council? There he is. Oh. I have left the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Our enemy is on the march. Is there naught to be done in the absence of the queen but to grouse and claw for power? Yeah, that's what we do. Get them back into shape. Shame them. We do not know the queen's doings, but we must trust that she seeks the same as each of us at this table, an end to this conflict. Gone too far. But where is she right now? She's at a brothel in King's Landing. Ooh. Rough day on the coast. All who bend the knee to the true king, Aegon, will be spared. You can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the war of Dragonstone. Mm -mm. Wowie. Mm -mm. What a title. All who refuse will have their death. Like this guy. Is there no honor left in this world, Cole? Not with me. Sacking your queen's own castles and putting up people to the sword, kingmaker. King. Yeah. Puh. Baby Slayer Kingmaker. You're not fit for the White Cloak. And he knows it. Yeah. This is a better death than a traitor deserves. You should thank me for it. <laughs> you, you've really fallen, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that swift, clean head cut. I wonder how many times I have to practice that on, like, a cabbage or something. No more executions. Let these people go. Music is just killing it. I told you we should have sent our dragons. And now look what's happened. Damon, of all people, has taken Harrenhal. I give you a job, and now you just sit there. It's your castle! Oh. oh finally but, but getting that embarrassed. That castle is more crippled than I am, Your Grace. <laughs> it's like to drive Damon to madness as he attempts to make use of it. It's beyond his faculties. It's already happening. As Harrenhal saps Damon's resolve, the false queen remains trapped on her island, and Sir Criston continues felling castles in the Crownlands. I need to be informed of these things. If I am to make informed rulings, I will not be made to look a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Criston is marching on Rook's Rest. A pathetic prize. I gave no such command. The castle command. is small, weakly defended, and Lord Staunton sits on Rhaenyra's council. After Cole smashes it, we'll have Dragonstone effectively cut off by land. We saw his dingling. <laughs> we did. And the rest of him. Man stays fit. Have him turn about. I want Harrenhal back. <laughs> you just have no composure, Aegon. <laughs> yeah. 
God is already preparing his attack. How, how do you know this? He sent word to me. To you. We are bros. Two of you have been plotting without my authority. This is why you need a good hand. You shouldn't have humiliated him. Jeez. He knows he's right. <laughs> and the rest of us await the translation. I don't know what he said, but we know that must not be good. Yeah. I can make a war. I can have to make, you can't even speak proper. <laughs> can't speak the High Valyrian properly. Or is that a High Valyrian? I, I think they, they intentionally put the subtitles that way to show. Yeah. Harrenhal is a useful morass. It will keep Damon well occupied while we strengthen our host and weaken Rhaenyra's support on the mainland. We will deal with it in the Riverlands in time. But right now, Brook's Rest is an easy target. Oh, he's taking control of this council right now. Don't you agree, my king? Yeah, fine, whatever, shut up. Should never have fired that guy from Notting Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Laris. I thought I'd look in on you, your grace, after your absence from the small council. I feared something was amiss. Indulgence was my sin. I ventured into the lamprey pie at last night's supper. Uh-oh. I've been there. I got diarrhea. Mmm. <laughs> He's putting it together. That is a rich indulgence, but I believe it is a sin to deny your appetite. Indulging in the D. Was anything of note discussed the council? Damon having seized Harrenhal and his grace's resulting displeasure. Would have thought you would be the most aggrieved, my lord. Nah. Clearly doesn't care about Harrenhal. Dragonstone's attentions are greatly divided, first in the Riverlands and the Gullet, and now the Crownlands. Sir Criston wins every challenge he faces there. That truth alone is light to incite Rhaenyra's fury. He's covered himself in glory, to be sure. <laughs> is that all? Picking up numbers. On the march, never exposed to dragons, it is a perilous road. He knows how to stay covered. Sir Criston is the hand of the king. We should all pray for his victory and safe return. Does she actually have feelings for him? You have not seen yourself of late. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive and the realm was at peace. Now I've barely had the hours to grieve one tragedy before suffering the next. I regret if I have not been myself. <laughs> not to mention your grandson. Did. I did not know you shared your lord husband's love for the histories. If not his love, then certainly an abiding interest. Aww. The voices of history guided Viserys. He knew that his wisdom alone could only reach so far. Was he really talking about Aegon the Conqueror? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the song of his empire? <laughs> no matter how suited he thought Rhaenyra for the crown, the uh, voices of history, as you say, would have told him how the realm would react to her succession. It's impossible to know what steered his thoughts in those final hours. You now doubt his intention. Yep. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish, yeah. and so will Egon's. The war will be fought, many will die, and the victor will eventually ascend the throne. But I want the truth. The significance of Viserys' intentions tied with him. You're awful. You're like straight up awful. A little bit. Yes, it did. She knows the truth. He has the best, like, this conversation's over, but it's it's not over face. <laughs> man. Aaron Hall's symbolic, man. Viserys, Aemond. Looks like Aemond from the back. Aemond. It took me a long time to realize that Aemond is just Damon with the D move to the end. Oh, oh, it's his eye. We were wrong. It's foreshadowing. Yeah. Or is it a symbol that he and Aemond are essentially the same? It's a touch late to be stalking about a strange castle putting its people to the sword. You. I'm called Alice. Ooh. Strong. Rivers. Alice Rivers. Reporter. <laughs> <laughs> Alice Rivers, private eye. Maester. I inherited the duties after the last one fled in the night. Fled? Why? Just never settled in. How are you settling in? What type of witchcraft are you working on right now? Sleep can be thin in this place. What would you know of my sleep? Iron Hall's been cursed I... since its first stone was laid. Oh, yeah. Black Haddon fell the grove of weirwood trees that grew on these lands. Heart trees imbued with the spirits of those who lived long before he came. It's said their whispers can still be heard sometimes. Midwife's tale. The very bed you sleep in was made from such a heart tree. Uh-oh. You experienced anything of note? Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> you are a strange kind of woman. I'm no woman at all. I'm a barn owl, cursed to live in human form. <laughs> so you've come here after quarreling with your wife. Oh my god, what a line. You arrive here alone to claim the castle and yet send no ravens. Trying to feel like a man again. Do you now plan to make your own claim? Hold his stomach after. there. Do not try me with your incidents, witch. That's a hard thing, I imagine, to give 
obeisance to one who replaced you as heir. <laughs> Push every button. Go for it. And a woman too, a girl child you bounced on your knee. I mean, does it please you that her legitimacy is contested as you stand Everything. here with a castle and a dragon attempting to draw an army of men? Oh, she knows how to get to his dark truths. Here, drink this. What is it? Don't just drink it, Dan. need your sleep if you're to win this place to your side. Oh. Rackets of venal cravings. They must pay for their treachery against the laws of gods and men. God, so much like muffled audio. This and against the crown. Who are you? <laughs> Sir William Blackwood of House Blackwood, your grace. As I said... Oh, he is so out of it. Yeah. What might I do for you? It was you who summoned me, your grace. Some 20 years ago, my lord bent the knee to King Viserys and acknowledged the Princess Rhaenyra as his rightful heir. So you fight for this old oath, not of course for your thousand-year-old feud with the Brackens. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I once vied for Queen Rhaenyra's hand before she wed Selena. I was like to her spirit. You know that's her current husband, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, man. They'd just be bringing back everyone. God. Who's that really, though? Is that Alice? Your grace. Oh, okay. It's a lowly servant. You and your dragon bring the queen's justice to the Brackens. That woman got paid $20,000 for that cameo. Yes. No, Lord's in the... Ah. <laughs> That's what I would do. So the best way for him to negotiate is to be half interested in the conversation. Yeah. So it'll make <laughs> the most progress. It makes, it makes you like pull like, oh, I want his attention. I want his approval. <laughs> Resources are certainly grown no more plentiful in the face of the blockade. The demand on the blacksmiths, armors and tanners for equipment has only grown. <laughs> Things itchy. Powerful King's Guard. Damon and Vega are also at the ready. We are a formidable opponent. I oh. want credit. <laughs> you bore me. You all bore me. Do a jig. Shit, shit, shit. What are you going to do with this boredom? Is he going to go address the people or something? Perhaps uh, Kristen will be able to procure more livestock through his campaign. <laughs> they just don't give a shit about him. <laughs> 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 right back to business. Oh, <laughs> waiting for you to leave. They're not like, what do we do? <laughs> get some actual shit done over here. <laughs> Damn. What are you doing here? Where are your father's books? I ordered them removed. With no thought to the centuries of knowledge in those pages. Get the books back. <laughs> I removed them. I didn't burn them. And where did you remove them to? What is it? They don't care what I think. You have to earn that respect, dude. My counsel, Cole, Aymond, they pursue their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thoughts. <laughs> what thoughts would you have? What thoughts would you have? I'm the king. Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? Like a superpower? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta grow into being king. Those men at your council table earned their seats. Once enthroned, you would honor the burden of your new duties and strive to learn from the more studied minds around you in the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Ten times the king my father was. Inherit a whole team of leaders. I ruled in your father's absence throughout his long illness and Otto Hightower was as cunning a statesman as ever lived. You should humbly be seeking our opinions and counsel. He's going to snap at you. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. The bridge is burned. He really has no idea. The treasons. What would you have me do, mother? Do simply what is needed of you. Nothing. Wow. She's feeling herself. What a great gig. Sit on the throne. <laughs> Let everybody else take care of the hard stuff. To root ref, To battle! You are working them to the bone, man. They're exhausted. It's broad daylight. We must hold here and ready ourselves to lay siege at nightfall. We shall move now and strike by day. They will not expect it. They will not expect it because it is madness. Did you forget the little encounter we had on the road to Rosby? I did not. You have to travel by night, dude. Dragonstone and their dragons are just across the bay. What? Growing tired of living, have you? <laughs> You're afraid, sir. Worse. I'm rational. Sure. We advance. Kristen, you moron. God, man. He's driven. You gotta respect the drive. You, you do. You do. And you gotta respect the actor willing to really put us all into a character so hateable. Leave Fabian Frankel alone. <laughs> He's doing a great job. <laughs> we need to send a dragon. Where? To support the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence. Your grace. Mom! <laughs> he raised the levies of both Rosby and Stokeworth and with their combined strength sacked Duskendale. 
Duskendale. The city has fallen. Not Duskendale. But my father. He kept his oath. Uh, you know what that means. Cole took his head for it. He died honorably. Wow, you know how to relay terrible information. <laughs> yeah, like, no problem. <laughs> I apologize for my absence and the secrecy, but such was necessary. I went to King's Landing. To what possible end? To meet Queen Alicent and sue for peace. You saw Alicent? Yes, I did. You sued Alicent? You could have been taken or slain. I inherited 80 years of peace from my father. Before I was to end it, I needed to know that there was no other path. Yes. Now tell them what you learned. And now I do. Yeah. You need to know. That way you're not just one toe in, the other one out, you know? You gotta be aligned. Either I win my claim or die. Ooh, ooh. You win your claim. Cole's victories have only emboldened him. He marches on Rook's Rest. His host was just hours away when Lord Staunton's ravens took away. Why Rook's Rest? After Duskendale, it's but a small coastal keep. Get in there. Because his castle is small and vulnerable and there for the taking. So they might as well take it. We have no army on the mainland. He is brazen. He is daring us to act. We need to send a dragon. Be smart, Rhaenyra. There are those who have mistaken my caution for weakness. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What do you have up your sleeve? I will go. My queen. Whoa. You cannot. I will not loose dragons to war whilst I hide here in my castle. Our allies raise their banners for you, mother. Yes, they do. I call her mother. If you die, all is lost. Send me. <laughs> no. I will burn Cole's lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the alarm. Experience. I love how he's actually become like a full-on character. Yeah, for sure. Send me, your grace. Whoa. There is an intense ass scene. <laughs> Melis is your largest dragon and no stranger to battle. I will meet Cole. And I will oh, smack shit. him in the mouth. What? <laughs> <laughs> she been waiting for this. Oh, she's the best character in his music in this season has been phenomenal. I wish only to fight for you, for your claim and mine. I. Oh, she becomes mother. There's something I need to tell you, Jace. Ooh. Something. I should have told you when you first became heir to the throne. It's a secret of Sarah's told me. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. Damn, okay. And it has passed from king to heir since Egon the Conqueror's time. Oh my god, he's going in. What are we doing? He's going bro? in. Oh no, 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 no. This is a mess. I never told you because I was unsure that I believed it myself. The Targaryen who sits the Iron Throne. Hey, buddy. They are a protector. Please oh, do no. not let What's her gonna die. happen to her? <laughs> I, know. I don't want her to die. She's like the best character. Viserys chose me to succeed him. He held to this the whole of his life. Dude, you should just surrender looking at that. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. They're 14, 1500 strong at least, my lord. Oh. To unite the realm, I had to send the dragons to war. Ah, Dance of the Dragons. Love that she got to give that monologue with all that footage overlapping. I have just loosed Kenobi for a crown alone. No. That is why I must believe what Viserys told me when he named me his heir. Wow. Harris had told him. Her dragon shot. What a POV. And what I will now tell you. What is it? That shot kind of reflected when Danny burned down King's Landing. Egon the Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. And the author will never finish the books. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true tragedy of all these stories. There is no ending. I love the buildup in this show to like a full-blown war. Yeah. Just seeing all this, you're like, oh, that one. It's like a full-on war. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but then when Aegon shows up. We must keep the dragon's attention divided. Make the signal! Wow. All is going to plan. Oh, he planned for this? Oh, you know he wanted this. I mean, if he could take out a dragon, he's really got his shit in, in line, you know? Does he have a secret, like, portable scorpion around? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The eye dilates, the air gyrates. Man, these dragon shots are so beautiful. Burn them! Yeah! Yep. Oh, dang. Oh my god. Oh, dang. we had him waiting there the whole time. Damn, Eamon. Oh, shit! Mm. Mm. This. 
<laughs> Whoa, crazy camera work here. <laughs> nice shot. Why not yet? Oh, he's gonna just throw oh, a whole wrench yeah. in their plans, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Vagar totally. can't attack if Aegon's there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Incinerate them. Yeah, boy. Oh, you are messing up their plans. Oh. You are messing up the plans, dude. Whose dragon is that? His grace, the king's. This was your secret plot, Carl. <laughs> For the king himself to lay ambush and they have to die in the attempt. No. No small signal arrows! Wow, dragon descends. Welcome to hell. <laughs> your king has joined you. Hold to your wow. courage. Hold to your wit. For the seven have blessed and shielded this host with divine purpose. Oh, my nice God. Nice speech. Wow, boy. You knew how to turn that situation around. Yeah. I mean, Cole is light on his feet. I'll give him that. Where are you, Raymond? Come on, dude. If Aegon's too close, though, it'll be bad. Yeah. Not close, Whoa. Dang! Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. that's bad. That's real bad. Oh no! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. oh my God! Oh, raining shit. blood! Oh my God! No! 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 Damn! Oh, she is messing him up. <sighs> As for Luke, oh, but then he's gonna get saved by Aemon. Or Phil. It's Jaws shot. Whole Jurassic Park shit. Jurassic yeah. Park, yeah. Wow. Traitor's dragon. Wow, the weight to the way it flies. Yeah, scope is wild. Why'd he wait this long? I think he wanted to see what would transpire between these two first. Get out of there, ladies. Ow. The goddess! He gonna burn you up too. <laughs> He's like, yeah. you gonna do it? Wow, dude. Oh my god. What just happened? Oh my god. Has he been set ablaze? Has the king been set ablaze? I, I mean, there's no way he didn't get caught up in that plume a bit. Oh, that poor dragon. Yeah, dude, you've been through the wares today. Sunfire. Your grace! Good work, Eamon. <laughs> Hurry up. GTFO. GTFO. Hurry up. Ankos Ailes. Attack. She's going to give what? her life today. Damn oh, it. Oh, she's no, giving her no, life. No, 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 no. no. Ah, best character. Oh, man. Damn, dude. Look at that size differential. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Yes. Just get a few licks in. I mean, Vagar is old. <laughs> Just get a few licks in. Come on. Damn, this is a crazy episode. Yeah, this is <laughs> this nuts, is, This man. is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh my god! Oh, oh shit, my god, no way. dude! Oh dude! Crash right really? into the battle! <laughs> oh damn! How many people are dying? Oh. oh my god! Oh no! The end of the episode? Oh yeah, you gotta cut from. Oh damn, this is a total mess. Pitch black silence to slow mo. Watch people just get crushed. Yeah. Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed off. He's just crushing his own people now. Oh, wow. Is she going to get away? I don't know. I don't. I can't still tell. I've got a bad feeling about all this. I can't this. tell. I was hoping the episode was over so we had a chance. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so we could just time jump her back to track and stuff. No, no, it's not shit. Yeah, she knows. Keep your awareness up. Keep your awareness up. Oh, you too. She knows, huh? Damn, she's hovering around there confidently. Wow, man. Great aerial work in this episode. I know the visual effects are phenomenal. 
Yep. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. Oh, damn it. Oh. Ah, yeah. That's a head coming off. Oh, no. Oh. Damn it. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. That is so sad. They even shared a look with each other before the end. That is so sad. And damn it, if they'd only fallen a little further that way. She would still die from the impact of the fall. Whoa. Oh. I mean, she could have fled. Vagar and Amon. The unstoppable duo. She could have fled. I mean, does it really make that big of a difference? I don't know. I don't know what fleeing would do. Would Eamon just go right to Dragonstone and torch the place? <laughs> I'm waking up to all ash these lives and dust. lost. Wow, man. Even when the dragons are on your side. Carnage. Nothing but carnage. Into the breach. Oh my god, the dragon made the breach. Yeah. The king has fallen, we must find him. That person's dead, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that dude's just a pile of ashes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what a great shot, too, holding the banner. Impressive job on the way this is shot. Alan yeah. Taylor, he showed up. Show enough. Is Aegon going to have like a gnarly burn scar? Raymond! Oh my god, he was willing to kill him. <laughs> he was ready to just feel like, let me become king now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Diabolical. That's oh. the knife. Or the blade. Where's his grace? Dagger. Does he live? Oh boy, this is all coming down on your head, buddy. Great job, man. Wow, Great what a job. Epic final shot. Feels nothing for his brother. That's so sad. So sad the dragons have to suffer the consequences of this. Sure. Sweet animals. Killing their own kin for what? For other people's causes. For nonsense there on the ground. <sighs> Sad. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened this week. Team Black all the way. Yeah. Get your Team Black shirt. Hey, do it. It's crisp. It's nice. It looks good. That's the first dragon fight we got, huh? First big one, yeah. First big dragon first fight. Big dragon that was fight. awesome. The way it was shot was really cool. It's sad. I'm an animal lover. I'm a vegetarian because I'm an animal lover. So whenever I see this kind of fighting between, I just view the dragons as animals. It makes me really sad when you're watching it. And I think you're supposed to feel sad, even if you're not a vegetarian. And if you are a meat eater, it's clearly some sad shit. You're looking at this dragon, looking at its owner right before he dies with another dragon's Teeth clasped around its neck. It's horrible. It's horrible stuff. It's sad. Yeah. Heartbreaking. I don't get why she went back. Uh, Someone spell it out for me. Spell it out for me. Don't, you know, give, don't let it be open to interpretation. Just spell it out for me. <laughs> she she could have gone back. She had enough leeway. Where she could have done it. I feel like Eamon would have just gone right after her. She could have prepared the forces, and they could have had multiple dragons to take out Eamon, and then bam, they're, they're done with Vagar and Eamon. But would she have enough time? I feel like he's... She sends a text message along the way. That's right. She yeah. sends a faster raven. <laughs> She's got a bunch of ravens tucked under one wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you. I guess she could have gone and found cover somewhere, maybe, but I don't know, especially flying away. I would have to imagine that Vagar would be capable of figuring out what direction that is and making pursuit pretty quickly. Yeah. But Kristen getting greedy in battle. Yeah, man. Got so many wins on his belt. He thought he became blind with ambition in the end. Got big for his britches. It's yeah. too bad, man. Too bad. Big for those 
hand of the king ass britches. I mean, the sequence at the end was really great. Like it's that was just a battle scene. We're not even like full blown war territory yet of like Team Black versus Team Green. Because Renera just got back and was like, all right, I think I'm ready for war. You know, <laughs> So she just got back. I think this is inevitable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just had to see for myself. But like, it was a cool battle sequence looking at all the practical effects and the violence and the carnage. And then on top of that, too, you know, dragons fighting dragons. Like, they, we know we're going to get more of that. And to see our first taste of it uh, while heartbreaking to also watch, it's also cool at the same time to look at, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like it's just, yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a blend of both. Uh, and I thought this episode looked beautiful, and it was very, very tense and exciting. And Rainey's has been awesome, badass. Maybe this was her feeling of redemption for what happened. Like they've, I th- if I'm not mistaken, that moment in when she burst through uh, the king's castle when Aang, when Aemon Aegon is named king. I think that was added in the show. I don't believe that's in the book. Mm. However, they've made a point to point that out a couple of times to her that she could have killed him then. So I wonder if, even though she had justifiable reasons not to do it, I feel like in some ways this might have been her making up for it in some way. Because I don't really know what, I don't know, like if she, if she was able to take out Vagar, that would have made the world a difference, obviously. Mm. That would have made a massive difference in this battle. Like even whenever we cut to Team Green, they're always like, we need Vagar. Vagar. It's all yeah. about Vagar, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's our big gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or she? I, I don't remember. Uh, she. Yes, there you go. Uh, no, absolutely. This, this, I, I love the the tension and the pace with which they've been building toward, yeah, some kind of all out battle episode. And I liked the the balance between the two halves because it's yeah, you kind of have the first half of the episode where you're reaching the wall of, you know, all the political machination, and you know you're with the councils or you know at least trying to in Damon's case like uh, assemble allegiances and fortify council and all that stuff and it's a lot of wheel spinning and it's a lot of sort of you know I don't know the people are out there taking care of it let them do the 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 dirty work and then you go to the dirty work and it is like the dirtiest version of that and obviously we had like the Blackwoods and the Brackens, you know, at least briefly in the previous episode, fighting it out, and then you know we've heard tell like the of normies and blind wave. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing which forever at war, those two. Yeah, yeah, which super deep spanning reaction clan will remain supreme? Uh, but yeah, going into you know having heard of so many conquests already taken place, and having heard of Sir Kristen's march, you know, throughout the lands. Uh, you know, either pillaging or collecting allegiances on his own. Now, to actually go into battle, this was, yeah, really gripping and really, uh, it, you know, it, 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 it it's the one you want to see when things start going wrong, when things stop going according to plan, when variables get thrown in the mix. That's when it's the most thrilling. And, yeah, like, you know, Aegon, so desperate for some kind of weight or approval or significance among all these things and and you know getting this taste of power liking the taste of power but not being able to you know like uh, effectively hold on to it or really command it in any way then leading him to this decision this is really fun to watch everybody sweat and obviously you know you have this sense of like oh yeah go get him rainies you know because she's obviously a character who inspires much confidence you know you kind of trust when she's around that she's at least got a cool head and is somewhat in control well in the last um, episode she was saying that they're going to war and that they might die in the very last episode she mm-hmm. was saying it yeah i'm just sad that it had to happen now i mean i don't expect any kind of you know switcheroo in the beginning of the next episode where she's somehow alive and is taken prisoner or something you never know but but this certainly yeah i was it was one of the rare cases where the whole time you're like she's gonna die yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah and uh and i'm bummed oh you know i'm not ready which i guess is what a good show like this is supposed to do to you it's supposed to kill people in ways that aren't you know the ones you're like i'm okay with that i'm ready you know it's supposed to kind of throw you into the tragedy of it and i thought this certainly did has done that so far and to leave everybody but aemond in a place where we're all like oh oh god what have we done what's going what sure you know this is all such a mess now and it's so so much carnage and so much decimation and yeah it's very gripping to behold gripping indeed Indeedio, and all that stuff with Damon that's going on. Tripping out. It's isolation. 
and going into the subconscious recesses of his mind. Yeah. Affirming, because I, I remember asking you, because I thought you would have all the answers. I do. Because I just assume you have all the answers, considering you're a lot smarter than I. Nah. That I, I asked, um, it seems like Damon is doing a lot of this now just for himself and not even in the name of Renera. And that's just a thing he's hiding behind, hmm. which kind of seemed obvious. Um, and the, the fact that this is happening in his subconscious, I think it's possible to have two uh, different emotions about the same thing. I feel like they can coexist, you know, and it seems to me that what this Alice individual is doing is for some purpose, some intention that she has is preying on that side of envy, preying on that side that resents Renera and resents Viserys. You know, because I think he did love Viserys, and I do think he does love Rhaenyra, and that he will fight in her name. And for some reason, I don't know what it will be and why she would want him to prey on, why she would, like, intentionally push that emotion. You know, but bottom line, he's got to figure it out. <laughs> he's got to fe- he's got to feel his own emotions. He's got to acknowledge it, or else it'll somehow it'll come out in some weird action that can overtake him in some way. Mm-hmm. But I like dealing with how complex of... A, an alliance, a union uh, that he is in with Renera of what that brings up. You know, even this, I like then that conversation when, when the, her name's Alice, right? Got her right? Yeah. Yeah, Alice uh, Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> PD. <laughs> Alice Rivers. <laughs> and why PD? Detective Alice Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> Alice Rivers. Alice Rivers. Like one of those Channel 7 news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she does have Just one of those such like names. a Hollywood dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's the fun of, of stuff like this is you'll have all these names that sound ancient and then you'll inevitably have one where you're like, that could be anybody today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the weather with Alice Rivers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the only weather report I trust. Um, but when she's, when she's saying, like, did you... She, essentially, I don't know what the exact line was, but the line had something to do with seeing an opportunity and was there a little bit of happiness. That, that feeling that you have when they, they talk about when you watch someone else fail and how that might make you feel good. Like, it's not a, it's not a good feeling to feel good about that, but some people have that, right? And that was... The, what she was sort of alluding to with R- Renera being um, having the crown taken from her, like was there a bit of happiness that that came from that, and, mm. and allowing an excuse for all these other things? I I like the challenge of it, so I th- I, I I have a feeling where this will land on that ultimately he will find himself right back to Renera's side on this matter. I'm not sure because I don't know how things go. I don't know. It's like what it seems like to me is what this adaptation of House of the Dragon from like when I heard what happens in the events of season one versus the book is that they'll, they'll essentially follow the, the guideline, but they will change things. Mm. Like, I don't know. I, I've, I don't know if in the book, I really don't know actually if Kristen and Allison were hooking up. I feel like that's something they added into the show. Um, hmm. I feel like you can kind of pick up on this when you see like Twitter responses. I could be way wrong oh, okay. about it. Right, you see like right, someone right. like, oh, did, 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 you know, they get mad and, or they might like it. Who knows? But yeah, I think this is so far. So but my point with that, that whole unnecessary ramble was to go, I don't know what the outcome is with Damon actually. Mm-hmm. And if it is that way in the book, I feel like they would have land eventually there. Like him being like loyal by her side in the end. Uh, but yeah, that's my hope. And that, that's yeah. my hope after, after, yeah, some level of debate and after, you know, we're at a critical moment in time and certainly whatever the next episode yeah, we is. We are a critical moment. Biden. That's right, yeah. man. Trump. Biden, Trump. It's all over again. It's a critical yeah. moment in time. You know, <laughs> global warming is only getting crazier out here. It's, yeah. Yeah. Look out. Uh, and, you know, Damon's going to have feelings about all those things. He is. So, I He's mean. going to be like, why are movies releasing on video on demand so early? Yeah, we need that theatrical window to save the movie theater going experience. Yeah, that's what Damon's fighting for at Harrenhal. Yeah. <laughs> movies shouldn't come out till at least a year after they've been yeah. in the theater. <laughs> He's just here for the distribution <laughs> discussions. No, yeah, I can see that. I, I mean, I, I like this debate with him. I like his little crisis of faith and crisis of like i don't know mental fortitude almost you know he's having these hallucinations i feel like there's something i feel like she is like 
making him uh, she's like drugging him or something to make him have these sorts of interludes perhaps and maybe she could have some sort of allegiance that is counter to that of his and Rhaenyra's that she is trying to exploit or you know I can see this being some kind of sinister insidious attempt at you know weakening his resolve because certainly he is brash but also you know certainly cunning and strong so to have his leg further weakened I could see that being like a political asset to various people but I just like the mood of all that stuff and and him yeah trying to you know get the riverlands all together but also is he just you know sort of trying to carve out his own place to feel confident like he and Aegon as much as you know he and Aemond you know are sort of likened in ways uh in that vision where he's following himself through the halls uh you know him and well Aemond wants the throne too well yeah 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 and they're both like off to the side and they're both sort of they're both the brothers who felt like they weren't given their due and they're both at, at the sort of mercy of or they both have like a very distinct like feminine figure who has authority over them that they're sort yeah. of like struggling with they're also the best warrior and they are also the best well but Aegon is not and like in some ways he's Damon is um, oh you're comparing Aegon and um, I think they. I think you can kind of derive both of them from Damon. I mean, like the obvious. There is that obvious parallel in the visual, and yeah, like he and and Aemon have that. You know, I am the brother. I you know have various reasons to resent, um, but also like Egon, he's probably feeling kind of powerless at the moment, or like he can't really do much, and he is at the mercy of the whims and decisions of. You know, it's like he has that thing with his mom, Aemon. Uh, Aegon does, where you know she's basically like. Hmm. Just shut up and and let us do our work, basically. And Rhaenyra certainly has her, you know, resolve and her, you know, gra- means of taking in all the information before acting with, you know, as level ahead as possible. Which I get the sense brings that sort of antsy friction to a character like Damon who mm-hmm. wants to go out there and exert. And so, like, I I think it's yeah. There's some interesting parallels between him and both of the the sons. Both Aegon and, and Aemon yeah. that are on display here, and yeah, I, I I hope certainly that he comes out ultimately freshly, uh, you know, dedicated to Rhaenyra's cause. Hopefully, I mean, anything could go any different number of ways in these shows, certainly. Well, and if Aegon is dead, like Jesus, I don't think Aegon's dead. I think yeah, he's probably just cooked. Yeah, I don't and think Cole he's dead, will probably bring him back and be but a hero for. But him. We know how the rules work here. That as long as he's breathing, yeah, he's still he's king. The king, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just cover Bottom him in line. some kind of you know maester jelly and hope for the best. <laughs> but from Aegon to Kristen, like watching this ambition um, be their downfall is really fascinating to see thematically tie in together. Yeah, I wonder they chose each other in the end. And I like what they're doing with Alicent for the most part. Um, it seems like. I mean, she obviously knows the truth, and it's tearing her up on the inside, everything that's happening, right? Like, she's yeah. already been sleep- sleeping with Kristen, and then <laughs> now she has this truth holding over her where she's – it seems like, with at least with her performance, that she's, like, trying to push down, you know, the feelings of – do the right thing <laughs> or like I am uh, the confess. fulcrum point yeah. of all of this. <laughs> confess yeah. the truth. You know, it seems like she's trying to push that down, but it's causing more resentment um, within herself. And of course that bit's taken out on others. And it seems like in her, her conversation with her son, when she's like, you have no idea the shit we did for you to yeah. be on that throne. That There's even more bitterness behind it now that it was, based on a lie you know i think it's really strong and i like with Rhaenyra how this situation you know her get, passing along the speech of a song of ice and fire to jace i thought this was J- jace's most compelling performance out of everything he's given us in the show so far and what they've written for him of watching him have an actual disagreement with his mom and, and stepping into the role of from like from a boy to a man yeah, that was really great. So I really like his work a lot here too, because supposedly he's like a big deal. That's why I put him on the shirt. He's <laughs> so supposedly he's like he's air. So yeah, this is the cool. first time I've been gripped by his presence. Yeah, he he, he got assertive, and I was like, oh, I, I can feel growth yeah. happening within this. Like, oh, daddy, you know? you're hardening to this world, yeah. and I like it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Overall, great stuff, man. Uh, yeah. I thought it was a really solid episode. Quality. I'm trying to think what I don't like, so I'm not a kiss ass here because you know why not reach for cynicism. I was gonna say, do you why still not like the, reach for a critical? Do you, do you still like the meeting between Rainier and Allison last week? I saw a lot of people, a lot of uh, conflicting opinions. A lot of people really don't like. Really it. don't like that. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Okay. All right. She had the final straw. It's the final straw. I mean, you got to, yeah, it makes sense to me that you've got to check I that would out. Be, I, I'm there being like, I'd be so annoyed if, like, this whole time, like, all because all of a misunderstanding. And, yeah, but as long at as least they, we try. At least they know yeah. so she can have the resolve on that, you yeah. know. Uh, and that is true of, like, when you can, you can be a better leader and be more focused if if you're not, like, trying to, like oh, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. You know, yeah. The more clarity, yeah, you have, the better the leader this, you this can be. Clarifies the path that she needs to be on, and the other part is they're probably not going to have many scenes together. So in terms of watching like two actresses who are great and are focal points for the show to have like a scene together, I'm like great excuse to do it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I think uh, a lot of I know I heard a lot of people really didn't like that scene. Um, but there's nothing really quite here that I didn't. Can't think of. Not really. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's all good scenes. It's all good. It's all, it all, you know, drove things forward. It gave you interesting stuff to contemplate. They, it had they, mood and atmosphere. They hinted at something with Corliss and Alan. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, at least the, what from the bits of dialogue and body language, I don't know what it means. It, I interpret it as Alan's probably, like, his bastard child that he had with another woman. Uh-oh. You know, because that happens a lot in this world. It happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> in this world. Plus, I mean, he's out at sea. Everyone probably, needs that guilt moment. Probably you know? been in his younger days, you know, port to port to port, you know, yeah. far away from your home and hearth and loved ones. You know, you get a little lonely. Who knows? And Alan is bald. He is. So we don't know what his hair color is actually yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But we saw his brother, didn't we? Adam? Yeah. He has a brother. Is that his biological brother? I'm not. I would have to go back and look at the lineage for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have to imagine that that stuff. I would imagine must expand more next week. If Certainly, if he had some I'm kind believing of believing something, I've theorized in my own head. <laughs> yeah, well, that, at least with Alan, I mean, it seems like you know, given the exchange he has with Renice, and then you know. Corliss, the connection there, like I, I would have to imagine that maybe even by next episode we would be unpacking that more and more because of well, what just happened to Renice at least, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm ex I'm curious to see though. I, I like that they're building uh the Valarian side out a, a little more. It seems like they're hinting about doing that because right now it's been quite insulated to like their direct family. Right. And so now seeing like what his actual fleets are like and some of the rest of the people that are involved there and you know, they're all part of this big chessboard, you mm -hmm. know. And the you know, the sea is certainly an asset and those who can, you know, navigate and make the best of you know, those channels certainly are valuable. So Absolutely. We'll see. They've made so much about the Riverlands and all that too, so we're still got so many more exciting things to go. How many episodes of the season? Six, eight. What are we on right now? Is this five, four? four? God, I remember this season being. I remember this season being shorter than the other one. This season is shorter than the previous one. Yeah, that's all I know. All right, let's I don't remember how many episodes the last one was. All right, well, it was ten. Wasn't it ten? Yeah, that seems like a perfect. Uh, I think this is eight. What? Well, you know, as long as they they put that budget on screen, baby. They just don't want to compete with Cobra Kai. Yeah, <laughs> three part <laughs> event of Cobra Kai, eight episodes. Damn. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're we're in the thick of this now. Damn. We're in the end game now. We're in the end game. All we're right, halfway. Which I mean, I guess now that makes even more sense to be halfway. Big big old battle. Big old battle. Shit's popping off. Yeah. What'd you guys think? Did you like it? Are you sad about <laughs> Rainies? Leave your thoughts down below. I'm sad. Would love for you to tell me your favorite Rainies moment, even if it's this one. Put it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and we will catch you all soon. And maybe on your way out, you pick yourself up an RR oh. hot dog shirt. I'll see you guys. <laughs>